We do begin with breaking news. She was a beloved philanthropist and the wife of the Black Godfather, music executive Clarence Avant. Moments ago, the ex-convict who pleaded guilty in the shooting death of socialite Jacqueline Avant learned his fate. Sandra Endo is live at the airport courthouse in Del Air with the very latest. Sandra. Bob, I can tell you he will be spending the rest of his life behind bars. That is the fate of 30-year-old Ariel Maynard, who was here for sentencing. As you mentioned, he was figuring out his faith after pleading guilty and admitting to murdering Jacqueline Avon back in December inside her Beverly Hills home. Now, he was wheeled inside the courtroom for this sentencing date, particularly and specifically 190 years to life. That is his exact sentence. Now, the judge taking big issue with the fact that Maynard shot a vulnerable 81-year-old woman in the back, waking her up at 2.30 in the morning in a, a robbery attempt of her home. And according to the judge, she says that wasn't enough for Maynard. He went on to shoot at an unarmed security guard at the front of the home and then went on further to another Hollywood home where, thankfully, a 17-year-old girl was inside but unharmed. And the judge says that particularly disturbing in all this. It was premeditated and Google searches showed that he had specifically targeted these two addresses, hoping for a big payday in terms of his robbery. Now, inside the court, he was listening to all this, sometimes shaking his head and the uh, actually the prosecution played recorded jail phone calls where Maynard was talking to friends laughing and bragging about the fact that he was all over the news and would probably only get 20 to 25 years and could get a phone inside state prison. Now the sentencing is particularly high. That's what the prosecution wanted in this case because of the fact this is the third strike for Maynard. He was convicted for two other previous violent robberies back in 2013 and as soon and early as 2018. First, I'd like to begin by extending my sympathies to the Avant family. Uh, they've suffered a tragic loss in this case. And if you had an opportunity to be in court today, I read a letter from one of their family members uh, where they made it clear that Ms. Avant was not only a pillar to her family, but a pillar to this community. Now, the Avon family did issue a letter to the courtroom that was read by the prosecution asking the judge for the max, saying that they are suffering from immeasurable trauma and never wants this to happen to any family again. And obviously, the big problem here, again, three strikes for Maynard, um, most recently in 2018, committing that violent crime and the judge saying that there are no words uh, in terms of the pain it's caused the Avant family, but clearly this hopefully will send a message. Obviously, the defense is trying to paint a picture that Maynard came from a troubled past and a background, but that didn't fly in court today, Bob. All right, Sandra Endo reporting for us live there in Del Air. Sandra, thank you.